Hello everyone. Welcome back to the class RTS. Um, previous section we have talked about uh, the introductions and uh, the general purpose computer and uh, the single chip microcontroller and microcomputer. So this is what we have discussed in the previous classes. So in that we have discussed about uh, uh, what are the hardwares are required. In introduction we have talked about what are the hardwares are required for the real time hardware applications and uh, the second is we have talked about the general purpose microcomputer I mean the general purpose computer in that we have talked about what are the hardwares are there in the general purpose uh, systems it not only the hardware what are the devices are there in that we have discussed about in detail and after that we discussed about the single chip microcontroller and microcomputer so the many of the options are there inside that in the single chip what are the options are there we have uh, talked about in the previous section so in this section we are going to talk about specialized processor why we are going for the specialized processor what are the architectures are there in the specialized processor what are the advantages are uh, specialized processors are there we are going to discuss about here okay so in the specialized processors are those which are designed for the some special uh, specialized are the specific application so this specialized process are developed for the two main purposes one is for the safety and critical applications and the increased computation speed okay so when it is when I, when I come to the safety and critical application the approach is to use the um, reduce the instruction set computer and that is risk and the advantages of simplifying the instruction set is nothing but on formal verification that is the logics of the processor is correct. So all the easier to write the assembler and also a compiler. So one of the examples for this uh, uh, the reduced instruction set is nothing but a wiper processor. So in this wiper processor what are the main features are there? So the formal mathematical descriptions of all the processor logic and the integer arithmetic 32 bit and also that, that there is no, no floating point operations. Uh, so it is an argued that the floating point operations are in act uh, in in act and, and can be formally verified and there is no interrupts all the event handling is done using the pooling again the interrupt making the formal verification which is impossible so there is no dynamic memory allocations in this so this is all about here the viper processor and the, uh, the traditional one human computer architecture with its the one cpu creates the bottleneck hence it was abundant for the high frequency i mean the high the high speed computing okay so there are many specialized processors that are there which includes the fast digital signal processor and also a parallel computer transputer and uh, the special risk so according to this uh, here we are going to discuss about only the two uh, topics that is parallel computer and also a digital signal processor so what is a parallel computer see actually the parallel computer it is nothing but an, it is different from the parallel computer architecture it is um, summarized into three categories actually there are four categories uh, so the four categories are SIMD it is nothing but a single instruction stream multiple data streams and MISD multiple instruction stream single data streams and MIMD is nothing but a multiple instruction stream multiple data stream and one more is SISD SISD is nothing but a single instruction single data streams so it is the one of the simplest architecture and also the very um, earlier one okay so mimd is nothing but a most popular classes of the parallel computer among the four architecture in each processor can potentially execute the different program and the different data set example in mos transputer okay so the each transputer chip has a cpu onboard memory and an external memory interfaces and communication link for the direct point to point communication to the other transputers so now we are going to discuss about each and every architectures, the parallel computer architecture. So we have talked about there are four uh, parallel computer architectures are there that is SISD, MISD, MIMD and also SIMD. So these are the four architecture we are going to discuss about. So here it is nothing but an SISD. SISD is nothing but a uh, single instruction, single data stream zone. So here if you can see here the single instruction streams are there, single data streams are there which is one of the uh, traditional architecture. <coughs> See, in this diagram you can see this the processor unit is there in the processor unit the input which is comes from the control unit and also the output uh, which is sent to the memory so whatever it is here there is a single instruction which is comes from the control unit and also there is a only one data which is sent to the memory so it is nothing but one of the oldest architecture and also a traditional architecture of parallel computer okay and the next is SIS, SIMD, 
SIMD is nothing but what single instruction multiple data streams. So, in this there is a single control unit, the single instruction stream which is comes from the control unit, that instructions which is used by the many processor, the you can see here the unit 1, unit 2, unit n. So, there are n number of units are there, each single instruction stream which is sent to the each unit. So, the each unit the processor output which is sent to the data streams, I mean <coughs> You can see this the data streams which is comes from the uh, this unit also so which performs the operation okay single instruction multiple data streams if you can see here the single instruction which executes the multiple data okay so the shared memory are the interconnections networks are there from that there is a multiple uh, the multiple data streams which co which comes from okay so this is all about your uh, single instruction multiple data streams and the third architecture is nothing but a multiple instruction single data streams. So, here you can see that there are multiple instructions which is comes from and also uh, the single data streams which is from the memory unit. Okay. So, you can see here the control unit 1, the control unit 2, the control unit n. So, the n number of uh, control units are there. Each control unit which generates the instruction stream So, the each control unit which generates the instruction streams, the different instructions. So, that will send to the processor unit. So, that processor unit which performs the um, that particular instructions based on I mean the based on the uh, the data which is generated by the memory unit. So, you can see here in this memory unit only one data will be generated. So, the each processor which process the single data. So, the multiple instruction which executes single data. So, it is nothing but an uh, multiple instruction single data stream ok. So, the next we are going to talk about here is multiple instruction and multiple data streams. So, here you can see here there are multiple control units and also that there are multiple uh, the data which is comes from the memory the memory is our shared memory we know that there is a common memory from that common memory there are multiple data which has comes from there are multiple processors are there each processor which executes the different instructions and also a data streams ok. So, this is nothing but multiple instruction multiple data streams one of the most powerful classes of the parallel computer is nothing but MIMD. So, in which the each processor has potential to execute the different programs on the different data set. So, the most widely used MIMD system is nothing but an in mass transputer. So, the each transputer chip that has a CPU onboard memory and external memory interfaces and the communication link for the different point to point connection to the other uh, other transputer chip. So, the in mass which develops the specialized programming languages can for e for the use of this transputer ok. So, this is all about here MIMD multiple instruction and multiple data streams. So, the individual chip can can be used as standalone computing devices the powerful transmissions is achieved when the interconnection to form the parallel processing network. So, it developed as a special programming languages for CAM. It is based on the assumption that the application to be implemented on transmitter that can be modeled as a set of processor uh, that communicate with each other via the channels ok. So, the next is digital signal processor. So, in digital signal processor the applications like on the speech processing, telecommunication, radar, ala, uh, analog techniques that has been used to modify the signal characteristics ok. <coughs> there are advantages gained if each process is done using the digital techniques in that the digital devices are inherently more reliable and the not subjected to the drift up. So, the bandwidth of these signals demand very high processing speed. So, that special purpose IC is optimized for these requirements have been developed use the Harvard architecture and then fixed point architecture ok. So, this is all about your uh, digital signal processing and also your parallel computing. So, these are the in parallel computing these are the architecture which, you, which, which we can study you can see here the difference the difference between the SISD and SIMD and MISD and also MIMD. 
So in SISD, it is a traditional architecture. There is a only one instruction and only one data. And MISD is nothing but a multiple instructions are comes from which which works on the same data. Okay, and here the single instructions which is there, uh, the single instruction which executes the different data. Okay, and multiple instruction and multiple data streams is nothing but a, the um, what is that effective uh, architecture in the parallel computing. The multiple instructions are there, multiple data streams are there. So the each processor it is nothing but an independent. It is nothing but an the parallel computer. Parallelly the multiple processor which executes. So this is nothing but an parallel computer. This uh, question is one of the important question, the parallel computer and also yeah, the specialized processor. It's a repeated question in your main examination. So you may get it for 8 to 10 mark question this one. Okay, so it is very, very important. So these are the references. I hope uh, this video is very, very helpful for you. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you all.